bitch. Oh, hey, don't, hey, whoa, 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 we're getting to a per- Whoa, we don't- Well, what do you expect? You're disrespecting her bed. Um, let's see if this makes me say what. I don't know, this is 30 minutes. What the fuck? We'll do this instead. Thanks for the gift sub, Logan, resub, Green Grape, and Limbo, and Croco, and Valentine. Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. I featured in the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine many times on Nuke's Top 5, so I won't go through a full recap. But put simply, Kent Burris says that he lives in a very haunted house and has recorded many strange supernatural encounters in his home. The hardest things to deal with while living in this house, and one of the most frightening encounters are in fact apparitions. Uh oh. Son of a. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. One night while sleeping, okay. there was a loud. So it's bang a YouTuber bang. mountain monsters. I started hearing faint voices. So I picked up my cell phone camera and started recording. It's like Dark Side Phil's One alter night, ego. His voice is coming from downstairs and records as he heads down to investigate. He is not prepared for what he finds waiting in the dark first floor TV room. Uh oh. What the hell are you? <laughs> hey, come back here and ask you a question. Jesus Christ. The TV has somehow turned itself on. Now, this might explain the voices, but as he pans his camera around the room, a dark shape suddenly appears right in front of the television screen. Yeah, that's weird. The shadow figure seems to collapse into itself as it disappears right in front of his eyes. Collapse into itself? What the hell are you? You mean duck down? <laughs> It folded into itself, creating a small singularity black hole in his living room. I did not go back to sleep that night. So did Kent capture yet another shadow apparition in his haunted house? You decide. You can watch this full documentary over on the YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Checking out early. Well, I didn't punch my screen Rocky on that one, trainer, but I was close. From the YouTube channel Mustafa Altai says that he heard a strange story about a family who had fled their home in Iraq many years ago because a sinister gen began haunting their home. The house has been left abandoned. Would you just watch that guy? Years. I actually do want to go As see the his shit. Says they couldn't find anyone willing to rent or buy the cursed property. Mustafa goes to investigate the house with his friend Salar to see if the spooky stories are true. I like to beat and the spirit's ass. So well. As the two explorers are about to enter the house, they have no idea that something seems to be watching them. Thanks to some Irish gamers. This sounds like a boy. Are you just at somebody's house? Now it's certainly a bit hard to see, but when the video is slowed down and enhanced, a very strange figure can be seen standing at the window. What? Now it's unclear exactly what this bizarre shape could be, but when Mustafa's camera pans back, the dark figure has disappeared. Nice dumb master. After the two explorers enter the house, things Makes only get extraterrestrial. Weird. The two friends hear strange sounds coming from the staircase. They go to investigate, and this happens. <laughs> They get ambushed by gargoyles. No! It's the ghost of paint and he's throwing his paint buckets around. I be careful not to punch your screen. Storm from somewhere above them, barely missing the two explorers. Mustafa runs upstairs to see where it came from, but his friend Salar heads for the exit. Eventually, Mustafa convinces Salar to come back, but after hearing more scary, unexplained sounds, 
they both decide to leave. Mustafa uploads his video to YouTube, Aww, and many of his viewers fucking crazy, want to see Conuts. more. In the video Makes comments, the his block. fans dare him to go back and actually spend the night in the haunted house. Oh god, that scared the shit. <laughs> Mustafa agrees. He returns to the house, determined to stay the night. Oh, that fucking scared the shit out of me. All alone. Mustafa My dog started shaking a toy around. The rooms and attempts to settle in for the night. No, th th this ghost is real. It got, it got me good. Mustafa's Made my dog do that, I guess. Takes a terrifying turn. Holy shit! Oh. I'm sorry, Nosita. I'm sorry for all the broken screens this video is causing. Thanks, the Prime Hijack. Oh, this looks pretty easy. Strange moans and loud bangs keep Mustafa on the edge and unable to rest. But little does he know, things are about to get even creepier. What's gonna happen? Anything's possible here. Jesus Christ. No way! Holy fuck! A heavy piece of stone sitting on top of the fireplace seems to move on its own. Then as if propelled by an invisible force, it violently crashes to the ground, nearly landing on Mustafa's head. That would have killed him! Mustafa Holy is shit! freaked out. He's only been inside the house a little over an hour, but he decides to put an early end to his overnight investigation. But now here's where things get really creepy. Because the most terrifying part of Mustafa's stay inside the house isn't even what he saw or heard with his own eyes and ears. You see, his static cameras caught video of something strange that he wasn't even aware of. Something downright chilling. Oh god. Oh, there's a little ghost living in his shoe. What am I looking at? What? He didn't hear the heavy breathing? Did you see it? Nope. As Mustafa is repositioning his static camera, a dark figure appears behind him on the staircase. It slowly moves down the stairs without making a sound, and then disappears out of sight. Wow. But this isn't the only time Mustafa Holy captured shit. this creepy figure during his nighttime stay. Oh, there it is again. Oh, wait, what the fuck? God damn it, it's fast. <laughs> it's Is this just a butt plug? What what is this supposed to be? I don't the shadow makes no sense to me. They couldn't have just dressed somebody up and had them walk by. They got like a like a prop. 
Yeah, it literally just looked like an oven mitt that they yanked by. Thanks to Tier 1 Mother and the Resub Again, Blue Jam. a dark, very bizarre figure quickly appears behind Mustafa, not once, but twice. Could it be that he captured the djinn that haunts the home on camera? Whatever it is, it seems to change shape, size, and even transparency. So just what is this? Let me know what you think. You can check out well, Mustafa's two-part video investigation of the house over on his YouTube channel, Mustafa Altai. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Ancient Ram Inn. With a past as dark as the Ancient Ram Inn, it's not surprising that it is said to be the most haunted building in all of England. The mysterious inn was built way back in the year 1145 on top of a pagan burial ground, and it served as the home to slaves, masons, and workers. In the 1500s, a woman hid out in the building before she was captured and burned as a witch. Years later, the innkeeper's daughter is said to have hung herself in the attic. And as if all that wasn't creepy enough, the decaying remains of sacrificed children were found buried oh, under no. the inn's floor. The oh, ancient boy. Ram Inn is said to be so violently haunted that when the building was sold to John Humphreys in 1968, his wife and daughters absolutely refused to live there. They moved out, leaving Thanks, John Dane. Humphreys all alone to live in the house. So, British you're telling me John Humphreys Shana, left Shana his Owen, wife and, and kid Hassel because they didn't want to live in his dump-ass hotel? In to investigate the multiple claims of paranormal well, fuck you guys! Activity. I'm gonna live here. During their investigation, they hear bizarre, unexplained sounds, and Sean feels something touching his leg. Already, as soon as we were about to begin filming the investigation, something draws our attention upstairs. Sounded like you rolled a barrel or... Jesus, this is high tech. ...work at the inn. Dude, upstairs. Go, go, go. Yeah, I've just heard what sounded like movement up here. Here's the Brian Kaku tax. Is this where you are? Are you the witch? I think it's the resub dry boy. Call this room the witch's room. So we only assume that you the witch, you're Oh okay, be you're careful saying that. Here. Did anyone hear the voice a second ago? Before you said you're felt in here. No. Thanks to resub Kirkland. You're felt in you're here. You're some bane. Which you're. You're felt in here. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't know if it's a voice or it was like a. Like a cat. Yeah. yeah. No warnings whatsoever. Do you used to sleep in this bed, witch? Oh, hey, don't, hey, whoa, 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 getting too per. Whoa, we don't. <laughs> well, what do you expect? You're disrespecting her bed. Making it look like a Nakato Avocado OnlyFans pick. Sean fucking spreading Sean your Owen legs and butthole like that on her bed? Before, Come on now. Get even stranger. What little room are you hiding in? Come on, show yourself. Oh Sean my god. <gasps> there she is! Makes the big tier two JoJo the the tricky and opens the tier on one team can't find any explanation for this strange disco. occurrence. There was no draft, and the team had been walking back and forth past the door many times without it making any movement whatsoever. Now, since it has always been said that dark spirits and entities supposedly quote feed off fear, the team decides oh. to do an experiment to see if the emotion of fear will trigger even more paranormal activity. Very good so idea. They tie up and blindfold team member Carl and put him in one of the beds in the bishop's room. This room is said to be <laughs> the most supernaturally active. Then they just actually first, sacrifice him? Nothing really happens. And as time passes, Carl seems to grow more and more impatient. But then things take a terrifying turn. How long did they leave him there for? They actually just left him there for hours.
Do you around me now? You make a sound. Oh, the oh it's an earthquake! Over? It's an earthquake! Get out of there! This something's just falling off here. Pizza. Beat his ass! Holy shit, man. We need to get me the Yeah, he probably just got bored. He's like, okay, I'll just pretend. Just let me get the fuck out of here. Whacked me, no joke. Heard something being thrown or something. And I was like, come on, and someone just whacked me, no joke, as if someone just punched me in the fucking chest. me. Carl begins to freak out as he feels something touching his leg. A candle then falls onto the floor. But scariest yeah, true, of all, perky. It's something cute. unseen slaps Carl on the chest. The violent smack is actually loud enough that the audio can be heard on camera. <laughs> what the fuck? And with that, Carl is done. They spanked him? In abject terror, he frantically struggles his way out of the rope, binding his legs and wrists. So did the paranormal investigators capture proof of the sinister ghost that yep. haunted the ancient Ram Inn? Let me know what you think. That's what they captured. You can watch this full video and many more investigations of haunted English locations over on the YouTube channel, Dark Territory. The House of the Burned Man. <laughs> Popular Mexican paranormal <laughs> investigator Alberto Del Arco travels to a mansion uh, in Manzanillo, Mexico. The, the house of the gamer with carpal tunnel. Abandoned for Such cool names. Years, and it looks more like a hotel than a home. It features a pool, a spy area, and an amazing view of the ocean. So no one really knows why such a luxurious home would be abandoned for over three decades. However, Urban legend hey, well, says that, that one of the home's previous tenants perished in a mysterious fire inside the house. Because of this, locals refer to the estate as the quote, House of the Burn Man. The entire property is said to be extremely haunted. Once Alberto and his two cameras. How is there always inside, graffiti at these the places? Design, uh, Who does the graffiti? Music. Like all these dilapidated shitholes have so much graffiti on them. But who goes out of their way to do that? No, todo existe. Atrás, atrás. No fue un animal. Thanks for the bits, Berger. Okay, pero eso vino de este lado. Soy yo claro. Madres. ¿Fuiste tú ahorita que pisaste o no? Sí. Se oyó muy hueco, eh. Cuidado, sí retumbó todo. Oh god, oh what the fuck is that? Sí. No, I'm good. Oh, 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 I'm good. Even though the unexplained sounds are barely picked up by their microphones, the three explorers all seem to hear it very clearly. Oof. Next, Alberto has a frightening close encounter with a bat. And after that, the team just decides to continue their investigation outside as they check out the other buildings I mean, the, on the screen. I didn't see a state. bat, but I, I'm also not surprised to learn there was a bat in there. Hola. Thanks for the tier one no sé, Colo and Prime Perky. No creo que haya indigentes viviendo aquí, la verdad. Uy, está enorme este lugar. Atrás, 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 aquí. Eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí. And next we have Royal Bingle. Puede haber animales, eh. Alberto and his team hear strange sounds coming from inside some of the buildings. I haven't punched my screen yet. Like something heavy being dragged across the floor. Since the hillside the mansion sits on is almost impossible hey, to prime access. Spooky. Alberto thinks it would be unlikely that any homeless people could be living there. Instead, he believes that all of the sounds that he is hearing could simply be made by animals. But even though Alberto is very skeptical, what happens next is not so easy to explain. That graffiti is pretty good. Keep us away, keep us away. 
Ay, güey, y a mí se me hizo ver alguien acá. ¿Dónde? Allá, ¿dónde? ¿Dónde, dónde, dónde? dónde? What did we see? ¿Dónde? What was it? ¿No habrá sido una sombra? ¿No habrá sido algún árbol? ¿Alguna rama? ¿Lo habrá trabado o no? Jesus, this place is graffiti ¿Sí? the fuck. Ok, habrá que revisar ese material. Holy shit. Alberto's cameraman captures what appears to be a white translucent figure on camera. A little later into their investigation, and they capture something. Maybe again. King Arthur. Y hay más escaleras que van hacia abajo, eh. Cuidado. Mucho murciélago. ¿Todo bien? Sí. Calla ya. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? ¿Dónde? Oh, watch out. There could be booby traps. ¿No serán los murciélagos? Huele muy malo. Huele muy, muy malo. Bats come flying out towards the camera, oh. but it's not a bat. It's like the Scooby-Doo intro. A bizarrely shaped shadow seems to be staring back at him from just inside one of the rooms. Oh my god! Check it out, but there's nothing there. The Man bat. The vanished, leaving nothing behind but a very foul stench. Before long, the echoing sound of a raging party being celebrated somewhere nearby starts to make one it impossible easy for them to capture clear, uninterrupted audio. Alberto and his team have no choice but to wrap up their investigation. However, right before they leave, they capture something truly chilling. The man bat is enjoying the party, I guess? Like he dances? Bust his ass wide open? Digo, aquí no hay más que una pequeña explanada. No está tan espectacular como la de arriba, quizá. I didn't see it. Pero se me hace curioso que esté. The red este circle was there, and I still didn't see it. At the time they recorded this, the team says that they were completely unaware that someone or something seemed to be watching them from the tree line. They catch an unexplained figure on camera, just barely visible in the dark. Okay. So, did Alberto Del Arco and his two cameramen capture evidence of paranormal activity at the mansion? Yes. Is it possible that the ghost of the burned man, who the house is named after, was watching them? Yes. Let me know what you think. I you think it is. Watch this full video over on the YouTube channel, Alberto Del Arco. Just passing through. Paranormal investigators beyond the realm paranormal investigate the Alton Railway Station in Staffordshire, England. The old train station was built in 1849, and it was eventually closed down in 1965. Why are these ghosts so tame? So, after over Even in horror of movies, the ghosts and shit are station, super weak. It is now believed to be they don't do anything. Haunted by the ghosts of deceased passengers and railway workers. The five investigators set up motion detectors on the platform close to what used to be the railway track. They start recording, and what they capture is truly bizarre. I believe it. So that's just not setting off the motion detector. It yeah. only goes off when something walks in front of it. There you go. Straight after it's followed you. What? That's it's crazy, so. Well, it's followed. I'm sorry to hear that. Exactly where I come from. Yeah, we plan to do some cryptid hunting. <laughs> the paranormal investigating. <laughs> Remember. We need to do that. No. When lead investigator Nick walks back and forth setting off the motion detector, something seems to follow him. Then suddenly a super fast moving whiteness seems to pass right through him, knocking him a step back. Whoa! We need to do that. No. What's especially creepy is that Nick seems to both see and react to the mist as it passes right. A through new his body. soul is now inhabiting so that did body. They capture real evidence. That's not paranormal? Nick anymore. Could it be the ghost of a wary traveler still running to catch a long departed train? You know, I appreciate it, booty. Drink some water. Check out this full video and more paranormal investigations oh, yeah, that's the whole on thing? their Facebook and YouTube channel, Beyond the Realm Paranormal. Thanks for watching, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and also maybe check out my other video. He was just running out of them to fill, so he just took that. Whatever, that'll do it. That, I was close to punching my screen. I was actually very close to punching my screen in fear. That was pretty, that was pretty scary, not gonna lie. Hey Big T's, good to see you man, hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Duel Links or NTG? Fuck, I don't know man, I really like them both. 
I definitely see myself playing more MTG than Duel Links. For watching, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and also maybe check out my other video. He was just running out of them to fill, so he just took that. Whatever, that'll do it. That, I was close to punching my screen. I was actually very close to punching my screen in fear. That was pretty, that was pretty scary, not gonna lie. Hey, Big T's, good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Dual Links or MTG? Fuck, I don't know, man. I really like them both. I definitely see myself playing more MTG than Dual Links.